And let's get back to breaking down some of the players who've been drafted. Sam, at 85, Boston went with Brett Harrison out of Oshawa. Yeah, so they go back to a place that they're familiar with. Jack Studnika is the guy who's on the rise here with Boston. The center has got good size. They're very similar type of players where Jack might be a little bit more responsible in all three zones. Harrison looks to be a little bit more of an offensive player. All right, media, we're here with uh, Bruins draft pick Brett Harrison. Brett, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll yeah, start things off with Steve Conroy. Hey, Brett, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, the past year and a half has been challenging for everybody, but especially for young prospects looking to get some some playing time. What what has it been like, and has it been frustrating for you? And, and did how much do you think it hurt your your standing in the draft? Yeah, it was. Uh, it's been a tough year for uh, everyone, but uh, no, I've tried to uh, make the best out of uh, any situation. And uh, yeah, I got to uh, further my development uh, when I went over and played in Finland and uh, also at the U18 tournament. So uh, I found a couple opportunities to uh, continue uh, developing and showcasing myself. But uh, no, just uh, during during the down downtime of the off season, I've been uh, here in London, Ontario, working out and uh, yeah, just uh, be, being on the ice four times a week, just work, working on my skills and uh, my skating. And I see you're, you're a Bruins fan growing up and a big fan of Patrice Bergeron. Uh, what did it feel like when, uh, when the Bruins called your name? Yeah, it's, uh, I was, I've always been a Bruins fan. Uh, just ran through the family as uh, my grandpa was uh, best friends with Gary Doak. So it was, a, it was a dream come true when I saw my name pop up. And uh, yeah, something, a uh, moment that I'll never forget. And your grandfather's name is? My grandfather's name is Ed. Ed, great. Ed Harrison. Ed Harrison, yes. Yeah, great. Thank you. Yes, Congrats. Thank you. thank you. Again, just a reminder, if you want to get in the queue to ask Brett a question, please hit the raise hand button. We'll go next to Kevin DuPont. Hi, Brett. Again, congrats. Thank you very much. And if you could just help us fill in some of those blanks, again, on what Steve was asking there about the crazy year. I'm going to guess the OHL wasn't going to open, so you, you looked to Finland, and, and maybe Finland shut down too? Or, or am I... Or I'm uh, leapfrogging too far ahead there. Uh, no, you're uh, you're correct. Um, yeah, the OHL uh, kept pushing back their dates uh, from when they were going to start. So that's when I uh, had talks with my agents and uh, wanted to find a place to play elsewhere. And that's when we found an opportunity in Finland. And then, um, yeah, so I came back home around March, and uh, that's when the U18 team was announced. And uh, so I had to come home for the. U18 tournament to uh, to quarantine and then uh, take off to uh, Texas. I see. I see. Uh, can, can you give us an idea of, of what, you know, you, you mentioned Bergeron, so we all sort of have this 200-foot player in, in, in mind, you know, great on the draw and all that. Uh, give us an idea of what your game is in terms of method and style. Yeah, um, I'm a player that uh, I can play in uh, all, all areas of the ice and all positions. I'm a I'm a centerman, but I can also play uh, both sides of the wing as well. And uh, yeah, I have a, a very high hockey IQ and a uh, really great scoring touch. I find the soft areas in front of the net and uh, in the slot. And I love going to the dirty areas and uh, yeah, producing all my chances in front. Great. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you very much. We'll go next to Logan Mullen. Hey, Brett, congratulations. Um, I know he left a year before you, but do you know Jack Stadnika at all? Um, I don't know him personally, but uh, my dad is actually uh, friends with his dad. So uh, there's a little bit of a connection there. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other connections with any Bruins past, present, future? Um, no, not really. I, um, I got to shoot on uh, Kyle Kaiser at, uh, at training camp uh, when my 16 year old year in Oshawa. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, not, not really. Okay, cool. And one more, if I may. Uh, what was some of the feedback you have been getting from scouts, teams, what have you, about areas that you needed to grow most in your game? Uh, yeah, a lot of um, a lot of feedback that I've been getting is uh, just working working on my skating, and uh, I've been doing that a lot this summer. I've been uh, on the ice with my power skating coach two, three times a week. So uh, yeah, we've been working on just uh, getting lower in my stance and uh, being more explosive, and uh, yeah, just from a standstill position. Uh, get quicker, uh, quick three steps to uh, win puck races. Cool, thank you. Thank you. We'll do a last call for questions for Brett. 
Dan Roach, go ahead. Hey, Brett. Um, what of the Bruins did you admire growing up? And did you know that it's Patrice's uh, 36th birthday today? So kind of do you take that as a good luck charm as well, being drafted by the Bruins? Yes, I actually did see that this morning. And uh, yeah, I've just, uh, I've always watched the, watched the Bruins growing up. And uh, yeah, so many uh, great players have been going through. And yeah, just, uh, just watching uh, Patrice Bergeron. He's just such a reliable player. And uh, yeah, someone that I really look up to and uh, someone that I would love to, uh, to play like. Did you meet uh, yeah, Gary Doak? Did you, did you know him at all? You know, you said out uh, close to your dad. Um, no, I actually didn't, I haven't, uh, I didn't get to meet him, but, uh, no, I've heard, uh, many great stories, uh, with him and my grandpa and, uh, my dad going down there for uh, many games and, uh, some hockey camps down there. Awesome. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Uh, congrats again. And, uh, media, just a reminder that it'll be the same link for, uh, all draft availabilities today. We'll try to send out a reminder about 20 minutes in advance of those availabilities. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks again, Brett. Thank you very much.